Hi, welcome to the Get 800 channel, the only place you need to be for SAT math hints, tips, and tactics. Everything you need is right here so that you won't have to worry about your SAT math score when it comes time to apply to your first choice college. In this video, I'd like to share some divisibility tricks with you. In other words, I'm going to give you some very quick and easy ways to determine if one number is divisible by another number. These methods will often be faster than using your calculator. So, for example, an integer is divisible by 2 precisely when the last digit of that integer is 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. For example, the number 326 is divisible by 2, whereas the number 327 is not divisible by 2. An integer is divisible by 3 precisely when the sum of its digits is divisible by 3. For example, 477 is divisible by 3 because when you add up 4, 7, and 7, you get 18. And 18 is a number which is divisible by 3. How about the number 5,215? Well, when we add 5, 2, 1, and 5, we get 13. 13 is not divisible by 3. Therefore, the number 5,215 is not divisible by 3. Okay, next, an integer is divisible by 4 precisely when the number formed by taking just the last two digits of the integer is divisible by 4. So as an example, let's take the number 2,136,416. Well, by the rule, this is divisible by 4, simply because the last two digits, when put together, gives us 16, and 16 is divisible by 4. How about the number 532,211? Well, the number 11 is not divisible by 4, so neither is the number 532,211. For our next rule, divisibility by 5. An integer is divisible by 5 precisely when the last digit is a 0 or a 5. So uh, the number 6,235 is divisible by 5 because it ends in a 5. But the number 2,112,321 is not divisible by 5 simply because it ends in a 1. An integer is divisible by 6 precisely when it is divisible by both 2 and 3. So in this case, you will use each of those divisibility rules to determine if the number is divisible by 6. So let's check if 2,132,478 is divisible by 6. Well, the number ends in an 8, so it's divisible by 2. And when we add up the digits, 2, 1, 3, 2, 4, 7, and 8, we get 27. Since 27 is divisible by 3, so is the original number. So we just showed that the number is divisible by 2 and 3. Therefore, this number, 2,132,478, is also divisible by 6. An integer is divisible by 9 precisely when the sum of its digits is also divisible by 9. This rule is pretty much the same rule as divisibility by 3. Okay, so for example, 477 is divisible by 9 because when we add 4, 7, and 7, we get 18, and 18 is divisible by 9. Let's check the number 5,214. Well, when we add 5, 2, 1, and 4, we get 12, but 12 is not divisible by 9, so 5,214 is also not divisible by 9. What about 3, though? Well, 5,214 is divisible by 3 because 12 is divisible by 3. Remember, the rules for divisibility by 3 and 9 are very similar. An integer is divisible by 10 precisely if it ends in a 0. So, for example, 5,960 is divisible by 10, but 7,655 is not divisible by 10. Now, as far as the SAT is concerned, those are the only tricks that you really need to know. But just for fun, let's do a few more. Here's a nice little algorithm for testing if an integer is divisible by 7. 
you're going to double the last digit of the integer and subtract this value from the original integer with the last digit removed. If the new number is divisible by 7, so is the original number. You can keep repeating this process until you get a number that you know is or is not divisible by 7. So for example, let's check if 5,362 is divisible by 7. The last digit is 2, so we double that to get 2 times 2, which is 4, and subtract it from 536. So 536 minus 4 is 532. Now this number is still a little too big to determine if it's divisible by 7 just by looking at it, so let's repeat the procedure. Double 2 to get 4 and subtract that from 53 to get 49. Well, 49 is divisible by 7, so so is 532, and therefore also so is 5,362. Okay, that one was a little more complicated than the others. That's why I don't recommend it for the SAT. Your calculator will clearly give you the answer much quicker. Let's do two more. An integer is divisible by 8 precisely when the number formed by taking just the last three digits of the integer is divisible by 8. This is similar to the rule for 4, but you need three digits instead of two, so it's a little harder when actually trying to apply it. For example, let's check if 2,136,416 is divisible by 8. Well, when we divide 416 by 8, we get 54. So 416 is divisible by 8, and therefore, so is the original number, 2,136,416. As you can see, this rule isn't really practical as far as the SAT is concerned. Let's do one more. What about divisibility by 11? To test for this, we're going to add up every other digit, beginning with the second digit from the left, and then subtract off the remaining digits. If this new number is divisible by 11, so is the original number. Otherwise, it is not. So for example, let's check if 28,765 is divisible by 11. So we add up 8 and 6, and we subtract off 2, 7, and 5. And when we do this, we get 0. Well, 0 is divisible by 11, so therefore so is the original number, 28,765. Well, that's all for today. If you prefer to read the information that is in this video rather than watch the video again, you can visit my blog. The URL is below in the description. Thank you.